don't be snooping, trying to find stuff, trying to put two into together or whatever the case, because this, this is not that type of channel. It's just me showing you how messed up a hot mess my closet is. Yeah, your girl is thick. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and I'm glad that y'all clicked on my face. Um, as you can tell, I do not have makeup on on this vlog. I, the next vlog that y'all are going to see after this one is when I get real jazzy. We gonna be doing some things this weekend. So make sure that y'all like, y'all comment, y'all subscribe, y'all stay tuned, please. It's only up from here, and I, then we're gonna scoot into like traveling and outings even dating even all that but i have clothes on i have an off the shoulder dress it's so cute i've had it for t about 10 years it's my favorite dress i wear this around the house all the time and but anyway off subject <laughs> i even shared some of the things that i do you know it haven't been the most glamorous things but i mean the holidays just passed and i was with my family the whole time i mean we don't really do glamorous things i didn't go on no vacation or nothing yet but when it get hot outside i'll be stepping out when it's hot outside so yeah y'all just stay tuned please subscribe because 86 percent of y'all are not subscribed and y'all watch my videos and yes i can see my analytics and i know who is subscribed and watching my content and who's watching my content and not subscribe so I ain't trying to scare y'all but if you're gonna watch my videos at least be subscribed don't be snooping trying to find stuff trying to put two into together or whatever the case because this, this is not that type of channel I am not a messy channel I am here I'm not only here on this earth to acquire but I am here to motivate and aspire I am here to uplift I'm not here to bring down or make people feel small. Um, I've had a friend like that. I let her go. She's gone. She's way back in 2021. Okay? This is 2022. We're moving forward. We are elevating. I'm not, I feel like nobody is better than somebody in this area and that area. It's just everybody has their niche. And that's that. It's not up to us to find out who's... Uh, up here who's who's here and who's here this is not that type of channel my channel is to show you a glimpse of my life through the eyes of Jess um, also we're gonna bring forth some topics we're gonna bring forth I talk about a uh, therapy a lot I talk about uh, self-awareness confidence I'm big on confidence loving yourself um, Handling the cards that you are dealt. Y'all, just stay tuned. And I'm into a lot of things. I am into sports, fashion, traveling, all that. I, I, sports, fashion, traveling is like the main three things. I'm into hair. I'm into wigs. I'm into makeup. I'm into jewelry. I'm into shoes. I'm into purses. And um, I'm also, the main thing is that I do all of that with the cards that I've been dealt. I do, I, 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 I enjoy life. I'm enjoying life. I've been enjoying life for the past year or two. And right after I turned 30, my life, as far as mentally, it, it got better after I turned 30. So I, thanks, thank you, God, for that. I've been through a lot of things at a young age, and I'm pretty sure a lot of us have. And everybody has dealt with different things. And, you know, people handle things, you know, differently. Anyway, not to get all deep, <laughs> but I wanted to make this an up and close and personal vlog. Like, I don't, I haven't been talking to y'all like this. Uh, the only times I've been talking to y'all like this is in the car when I'm on my way to go work out or what are the, uh, go shopping or what. Look, let's be real here. Did talk about some things, kind of find a common ground. If we disagree, we can respectfully disagree. If we agree, we can, we can, you know, vibe on that and and you know let's have fun on this channel so on it's gonna be vacation season spring break my birthday um i have two birthdays coming up for my mom's birthday is in a week and my daughter's birthday is ooh two weeks from now <laughs> and i haven't bought now gift for neither of them so 
this weekend is gonna be lit because I have a few things planned. Stay tuned for this one. Bye. As you can see, see behind me, it's, it's terrible. I have on my cancer necklace, my zodiac sign. I wear this necklace all the time. I have these glasses on. These are from Fashion House. Um, these are blue light glasses. These are oversized blue light glasses. I do not have any makeup on whatsoever. I have my lip gloss that I got from a beauty supply store about a couple of weeks ago. This wig is an older wig that I crimped and I brushed out the crimps. Um, I, this is my like my workout wig, but we move. And this dress is like a, um, <clears throat> it's like an off the shoulder dress. But it is, it's very comfy. Excuse the mess. But it does a lot for my body. As far as my, I don't really have a waist right now because I've been working out. So this is how it looks on my body. It is very long. It goes all the way down to the floor. And at the bottom, it has like a chiffon material. So it's a very beautiful dress. Let me make sure y'all see me. So I usually wear this dress around the house a lot. Or if I'm going somewhere really quick, I just throw this on. Like, especially if it's a little warmer outside. I'm not wearing this outside when it's cold. Because the chiffon material goes up my left thigh. And when the wind blows, baby, it's over. I'm ready to come back home. As y'all can see, my backdrop is my closet. As you can tell in the background, it's messy. It's messy. This is my closet. It's a mess. What's in the way? I got a, like a new jacket for Christmas. So it's like a, I'm going to move it out the way. Okay. So I'm going to be organizing my closet. But the way I do it is that it's not a type of closet where I have like velvet hangers. Um, I had those pretty, pretty hangers. Uh, what's the other ones? Those like steel hangers. What's the other ones? I don't know, child. But anyway. <laughs> But anyway, I have a uh, plastic hangers. So these are the type of hangers that I have. Let me find a one that don't have anything on. So these are the hangers that I use. The reason why I use these is because they're they're heavy duty hangers, if I must say. Like these can hold so much. So I love them because they're sturdy. And like I said, I'm not. I don't buy expensive hangers. These were like at Walmart for like a dollar some a dollar something for like 18. So I always buy these and actually I need some more. So this video is not gonna be about closet organization, so say. It's just me showing you how messed up a hot mess my closet is. If y'all wanna see uh, my closet organized to its full potential as the best that I can, make sure y'all tune into the next vlog. But I wanted to show y'all some things like this. This. So you know, I was sipping this magnesium water with the bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know, niggas I'm hit me. Wines. I'm thankful. Rolex truffles. Numbers. In order to grow. I can see that. But underneath there, child. Lord knows. Underneath there is. Um, like some jean shorts, some shorts, uh, some skirts. Um, it's a hot mess in here. Behind me is like belts and like it's like fabric belts and it's like regular belts. Ch uh, my chain belts are hanging. I don't know. Yeah, my, I have some few chain belts that are hanging around, like above my vanity. A hot mess. I don't know why my chain belts above my vanity, but they were real pretty and I thought that would add cute decor over there. Child up here. In order to grow, you gotta let go. I even got shoes on the, on the ground too. Down here, I have shoes down there. Like I have sandals, sneakers, flats. On this side, in these bins, not organized those bins, but they're overflowing already. That right there is all my workout clothes. Workout clothes. All of those. There's three bins. I don't know if y'all can see it. Three bins full of workout clothes. And you can see there are some clothes hanging out of out of them because they're full to capacity. You see? Uh, nobody told me that. That's what the streets told me. I just touched the mill quick. You over here, they're just unorganized. They're, I want I want this closet. Basically, what I'm telling y'all is that I want my closet color coded, and I want my closet to be 
to where all the like the little skinny straps are in the front like you know the little spaghetti strap stuff all in the front and then it goes down to short sleeve then it goes down to mid sleeve then it go down the long sleeve and then and i'm talking about his dresses and then it goes down to the jumpsuits and the longer dresses so very short dresses with spaghetti straps very short dresses with short sleeve very short dresses with long sleeve and then go to the midi dresses and all that stuff like that and then go down to the jumpsuits today is wednesday it is wednesday <clears throat> i can't even say wednesday right today is wednesday and we are headed to target i never shop at target um I'm a Walmart girl. Um, Target is not too far from me, but it's further than Walmart, I guess. And that really just don't even have anything to do with it. I just, I'm not a Target shopper. I feel like Target is a little too expensive for my taste. Even sometimes Walmart can be. I'm more of a, a I'm more of a, um, I don't know which exit I should go. Um, I'm more of a um, like family dollar type girl but anyway y'all I just wanted to come on to the vlog it is Wednesday um, I have no makeup on but I do did, I did do my uh, skincare routine before I uh, left the house let me put my hair behind my hair so y'all can see my face better so I'm currently driving and I'm vlogging on my phone only because I did bring my camera, but I forgot the memory card in my computer. The computer. Don't be alarmed. I am a great driver. Um, I've been knowing how to drive since I was probably like 11 or 12. So I'm a really good driver. Um, I think I only got on, I've gotten into, um, try not to jinx it because I am driving, but I've gotten into about maybe this many accidents or fender benders in my life and i have like this two-piece outfit i'm gonna show y'all when i get home i got this outfit from Dee Dee's like maybe a year no about two years ago and it was like nine dollars it's like a sports bra top and it's like the booty leggings like the little tiktok leggings that were really popular a couple of years ago so um i wear this as leisure wear i don't wear this outfit to work out but so yeah um i'm not really good with vacuum cleaners so i'm gonna go and look and see if i can price one out if i do end up picking one up i mean that'll be probably a miracle um to be honest with you guys i am planning on moving out this apartment in the next few months but um there are some small minor changes that i am making while i'm still living here um i know that this weekend i don't know if it's gonna be this weekend or next weekend that they're gonna be coming to paint my walls in my whole entire apartment so all the walls will be painted and it's not gonna be the same color it's gonna be either slightly lighter or slightly darker I'm not too sure what they're gonna have like what the contractor is gonna do but it's not my call so um, you know I break vacuums <laughs> I break them and I'm gonna pry that's the main thing that I'm coming here for but also I'm coming here for like washing powder or you know laundry detergent however y'all call it i'm real country y'all gonna get to know me i am very 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 country like i say country um slang a lot i can be proper but if i'm like relaxing and talking to y'all like this is how i this is how i talk okay this is my outfit so yeah i'll show y'all the full effect yeah, your girl is thick. Oh, speaking of this hair, this hair is not even sprayed down. It's not even... Are they trying to hit me? Oh, my God. These people can't drive. Oh, my God. Anyway, y'all, I'll see y'all when I get up in Target. Feel. Man, how the fuck is gonna feel?
I'ma start touching the meals. Y'all, this is my dream vacuum right here. about a couple of years ago so I don't know if y'all can see I'm trying to let y'all see but this is like with the, the these are like the TikTok leggings so yeah so these are the TikTok leggings with the sports bra I have a bra underneath it um but yeah y'all y'all see this weight loss y'all see the progress it's coming along pretty good I don't really see too much back fat but yeah, yeah, but this is the set that I got from DDs about a couple of years ago. I don't know if y'all can see me. I hope my head is not cut off. So, anyway, I wanted to come on here and show y'all what I purchased from Target. Y'all see that vacuum in the back? <laughs> That's the vacuum that I broke. Okay, so don't mind that. And my walls, they look, they look kind of bare because I told y'all that I'm getting my whole apartment painted. So, these have to be removed, and I removed some other photos. So, it's going to be bare walls for a few days. So, that's just the life of getting your apartment painted or repainted. So, anyway, let me go into what I purchased from Target. And I spent, let me go get the receipt real quick. All right, so I spent a total of $97.06. Okay. So the first thing, I'm just gonna pick up whatever the first bag is and then we can shop, we can kinda, you know, go over everything. So first thing that I purchased was these ooh, 54 count paper plates. I eat on paper plates a lot because I don't like really doing dishes. I really don't like doing dishes like that. So purchased these and these were like like maybe three dollars. It's these two games. These were like five dollars a pop. I bought these amazing uh, trash bags. I want like maybe five ninety nine. King of Fabuloso. I love Fabuloso. I'm old school with it. I'm country with it. I clean my house with it. And this was like three ninety nine. The Aqua Fresh Extreme Clean, maybe four or five dollars. And it has two. Oh, it's two two pieces in the package. So that's a good deal. And, it was, and I got this Thera Breath. And it's like an oil rinse. This is like the really good. Um, I guess flavor because it had like four flavors four or five flavors and i got this one this was expensive y'all this was like eight dollars working on my skin since december 31st so this is the um oh this is the target brand i remember seeing this all the time at targets up and up brand and this i got these b12 gummies now these were like 7.99 the vita fusion was like 14.99 which was double and it was the same size so i got these these are good to chew on in the morning before a workout or before a work day if you need energy you know this is the stoat coffee everybody drinks this coffee i've been drinking this coffee for about two years now ever since i've been on my health journey this doesn't have any sugar in it i'm pretty sure everybody else has been talking about this coffee um it has like 15 calories no sugar it's nothing in it it's unsweet and i'll show you out a creamer one day i'll show you out a creamer that i use my creamer is also sugar free so, and that was, that's like $4. I remember it always being like $4. At Walmart is $4. At H-E-B is $4. Cute bowl, it was 75 cents. So, purchased some almonds, raw whole almonds. No sugars, no salts, no like this. And these were like, these were like $6, which is pretty expensive. But, you know, all nuts and almonds and stuff is expensive. Razors, I love these razors. They never did me any wrong. They're always good. They always get the job done. These were like $3. <laughs> so 
Sorry if y'all can see my bra, but it is what it is. Who gonna check me? I'm at my house. And plus, I had a jacket on, so. I bought these touch screen compatible gloves because I be cold in the morning when I work out. And these are good to wear and I could touch my phone. I could change my song to my music, whatever, answer a call. These are keep me warm because my fingers been falling out. Like they feel like they're going to fall off when I go running and stuff in the morning. So I got that. No, this is the Ebony uh, shade of press powder from Black Radiance. The gloves were $3 and this was... um. This was $3 too, I think. I can't remember. Celsius drinks. Now, y'all, remember I showed y'all the peach vibes? Well, I got these two because I haven't tried these flavors before. And they didn't have them in a four-pack like I got the other ones from H-E-B. These were like $2.19, $2 a piece. So, and these give me a burst of energy when I'm working out. So, y'all, this is my favorite sparkling water. Um, but when I say favorite, I'm talking about this flavor, strawberry lemonade. Y'all, it tastes so good. It, Oh, my God. I hope that I put y'all on this. I hope that y'all buy this and tag me or whatever the case may be. Um, this is so good, y'all. I just love it. And this was always, a, this is always a dollar. This is at Walmart. You get it anywhere. And this was a dollar at Target. So, I, I should have picked up more, but, you know. And I just got me some gum to put in my purse. Whatever. And then I got... This rubble ice cream. And this was in birthday cake. I never tried this flavor, so I'm excited to try it. And that drink was a dollar. Oh, yeah. This was $5. Keto ice cream is expensive, y'all. Bounty. Um, like, it's a big old pack of paper towels. These were $3. This was the last one. It has, like, I don't know, like, nine? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in here. This is $3. So, this is Great Vibes, uh, Help A Kombucha Great Vibes. Um, I know y'all saw in the previous clip that um, my favorite flavor is the Pink Lady Apple. I've been drinking that for years. Jackie Ina put me on to that one, the Pink Lady Apple. But she also put me on to this one, but I never could find it. So, I definitely picked this up. I, it was like on the clip, I picked up the Pink Lady Apple, but then I kept going down the aisle and I seen this flavor. So, I had to pick it up. So, this is great vibes. And by the way, like I have something underneath this robe. I'm not butt naked. Like, I got this robe from like, I think from like Sears. <laughs> I know y'all ain't heard that name on YouTube before. Like some chocolate boots. And I purchased these from Fashion House. Both of the boots that I'm showing today will are actually from fashion house these lace up you can loosen the lace you can and it, it's like a it's like a sock booty it's like a how can i describe it it's very comfortable first of all and it's like a sock booty it's very soft the material is very soft. and i wear a size 10 and i just went they're so beautiful on these are like maybe maybe three inches tall they're not that tall. They look tall, but they're not. And they're, you know what? Let me go get it. I have an outfit. It's like a 90s outfit that I would love to wear with those shoes. All velour. <laughs> it's chocolate. It's it's like the button. I mean the button. The zipper goes. I'm trying to show y'all. I'm not trying this on, by the way. This is not a try on haul for this. I wanted to show y'all the boots. The, it kind of drawstring it to kind of fit your waist. It's so, I'm telling y'all. It's so cute. You see the tag? I got this from Dee Dee's. Look the price. $16. It came with these chocolate colored velour joggers with it. Good job. Two piece. And these I've been having for about three or four years. And they hold up really good. I've These are really cute. Like they're western style boots. I don't know if y'all can see the detailing. That is so cute to me. And they are over the knee boots. And when I mean over the knee, they are true over the knee boots. Like they go way over the knee. So they actually are thigh high boots to me. Like, oh, and I forgot to tell y'all the price. Like these were regularly like maybe 50 or $60. And I remember like I bought them for like 20 or $30, three or four years ago. I can't remember.
Sorry, y'all. I was watching uh, Sharika B. I love her. She She's the epitome of class, the epitome of style. I wanted to kind of bring forth a topic to, to y'all. Uh, I've never done this before, obviously, but it's my first time. But I have a question. So if... Um, not saying that I've been through it, but I just, you know, I have a friend that's going through it. So I might as well just bring it forth to y'all and see what your thoughts and perspective is on it. So if I, me and a guy, we have been friends for about a year or so. We have, say for instance, we have like music in common. We have music in common and we, um, we just vibe out for years. Like we, we really, really like music and we decide to become friends and stuff like that. And he's the only guy that had it, had that in common with me. And um, the guy that I'm friends with happens to be um, in a relationship at the time. And all of a sudden, he uh, his relationship is not really going good throughout our friendship or whatever. And when I met him and was friends with him, I was... Um, cool with him while he was in a relationship so it was all platonic and then we decide to uh, cross the line in our friendship and I start to have more of heavy feelings or I have more feelings towards him and stuff like that and do you feel like this is um, love the question is do you feel like that's love or you think it's just lust because I didn't really start having those feelings for him until we got intimate or we took it you know we took it there we cross the line in our friendship so what do you think you think that it's love because i had so much in common with him or we had special things in common with each other and then i started to fall for him and that's love or you think that just because that we were intimate um that time and it just made me want to be with him in a non-friendly or more than friends way do you think it's lust so do you think it's love or do you think it's lust so let me run that back by y'all again do you think that being friends with someone and y'all have so much in common and then <laughs> and then um y'all take it or y'all cross the line and then y'all y'all become intimate and they were in a relationship and before then that when y'all was friends it was platonic. So now taking it across that line or taking it further than the friendship do you think that you fell in love with that person or do you think that you fell in lust with that person? Because nothing is platonic anymore. It's all lust. It's all physical. It's all romantic. So do you are a romantic interest. So do you think it's lust or do you think it's love? I, I definitely want to see what your thoughts and perspective. Definitely want to open a discussion up in the comment section. And hopefully you guys do comment or eventually comment and see this video in the future. And give me your two cents on what you think. Like I said, it is not, I'm not um, going through this. I have went through this before. Um, this is something that a friend has went through. Sorry, y'all. I'm messing with this wig that I'm going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> it's fire. It's so fire. I can't wait. And it, um, until the next time, the next vlog will be a lit vlog. So, yeah, y'all. The fun is coming. The fun is coming. So, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Like I said before, 86% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Please subscribe. It is free. It is free to subscribe to my channel. Let's see how fast you can count it. Came up by 16 ounces. I just pulled my reef in the hood.